Nine-year-old didn't want to try my lemon loaf, but when I rebranded it as lemonade cake, <laughs> he was interested. I swear, but kids just hear cake and they're just like, me like cake, me am kid, me like cake. What's up, boys? Welcome back to another episode of r slash kids are stupid, the uh, series where we, uh, you know, ridicule kids online. Ha <laughs> bullying. Uh, drop me a- drop me a lemonade cake in the comment section for this video. I'd appreciate it if you did. Let's try to shoot for 8,000 likes on this video, and, uh, if you guys do enjoy, then let me know. Without further ado, enjoy the video, boys. Why is your kid crying today? Mine didn't get picked in a game, she was playing alone. <laughs> when you're just such a loser that you can't even get picked in your own game that you're playing alone. <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of mean. This is I, 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 Dark Town bullies little kids online. My 12 year old son called me at work early one evening. He was home trying to help with making dinner for his siblings and for me and his mom before we got home. I could hear the frustration in his voice. He was trying to mash the potatoes. Holy cow, dad! I never realized how strong mom was. I can't do it. It took me a minute to think and then said, um, son, did you cook them all the way? And he replied, cook them? <laughs> I mean, it is in the name, I guess, but he just. He just mashes the potatoes raw. Just takes a potato from the garden, just goes, oh, oh, with like a hammer. How old are you? Seven, almost eight. <laughs> Please enter your real age. What? That is his real age, man. He's seven, almost eight. He's almost eight. Can't forget about the almost eight part. He's right on the edge. He's almost there. My sister takes her kid's Nintendo Switch away at night, so the kids made a fake Switch and tried to swipe the real one and put the fake one in its place. I, uh, I can't tell which is the... <laughs> Which is the actual one in this situation. They look too identical, dude. This is like one of those tweets where like they compare the artist and then the apparently the drawing of the artist and it's just like actually terrible, but you know, you know what I mean? Not cool. One star. I hate Nintendo Switch Online because only 13 year olds can use Nintendo Switch Online. I'm 10 and I'm very responsible. So Nintendo. Fix this. He's not happy, dude. Let the man play Nintendo Switch online, bro. He just wants to visit his friend's island in Animal Crossing. Can is it really that hard? Come on. The ceiling in the basement was ripped out today because the kids flooded the bathroom upstairs and it leaked through. My wife brought them down to see the demolished ceiling, hoping it would scare them straight. Instead, they described the carnage as <laughs> super awesome and wow, so cool. They're gonna I can tell that when they grow up, their house is gonna be absolutely beautiful and not filled with just absolute demolished ceilings, walls, and furniture. It's just gonna be a pristine place of cleanness. So this is why my kids has to hurry up and go back to school. I just brought these chocolate chip cookies and my son ate them all and had the audacity to place some cookie crisp cereal inside after he ate them. SMH, no snacks.com. He didn't even like put enough in there. It just looks like they were just... Uh, <laughs> they just got that out of the package. It was just cookie Chris and they got scammed My older son has apparently been telling his little brother that daddy is going to put him on a leash if he doesn't stop sneaking into my older son's room This explains why my younger son screamed. No, don't put me on a leash when he got in trouble. I was confused at the time I'm just fortunate that he screamed that at home and not in public though He hasn't been in public in three weeks So I guess that's not much of a concern. Just imagine if he screamed that in public. I would be so embarrassed I remember one time when I was about eight probably and I was eating cereal and for some for some reason, I grab a salt shaker and put some salt in my cereal. Oh, okay. <laughs> I eat some of it and go to my parents with the bowl. I tell them, Mom, my cereal tastes weird, and I hand her the bowl. She tries some and says, Did you put something in it, or did it taste like that? I tell her that I put salt in it. She simply replied with, Oh, well, no wonder it tastes bad. You put salt in it. And I say, Oh, you're right. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. It, that's probably why it tastes weird, because I dumped a bunch of salt in it. I, I'm so stupid for not thinking of that, man. I'm sorry, Mom. My daughter examined how a measuring tape retracted and announced that it disappeared into a magical world. So yeah, homeschooling is going just great. Hey, her imagination is running wild. Just let it let it happen, you know? Let it let it keep going. One day I decided to throw a surprise birthday party for my dad. I took him to the kitchen and gave him a broom and I found there as a gift. It wasn't his birthday and the broom was broken, but he did like it. <laughs> I don't think he liked it. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure he's tried to just, you know, be nice. Because you see those clips where, like, parents get a drawing from their kid and they're, like, awful. But they're like, wow, this is so good. I feel like everybody's done this to their mom or dad before. They give them a terrible drawing and they're like, wow, you're so talented. When, <laughs> when it's really just awful, it's like that. When I was a kid, <laughs> sorry, I just read a hard, I just read ahead a little bit. I'm just laughing because of that. When I was a kid, I thought the epilogue at the back of the book was actually apology. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that there were all these authors with really low self-esteem. Like, after you finish reading, they're just like, I'm sorry for that. Dude, I don't know why. I just thought of, like, a YouTuber doing that sort of thing. And, like, they just make an epilogue, but it's really just a really long apology video where all their... They're just super insincere and completely acting. I just wanted to share with everyone that my sister was making shirts at home, and my nephew really loves the vacuum at my mom's house. So now he has a shirt with a vacuum on it. <laughs> dude, that's kind of fire. I can't lie. That, that little dude got some grip. I, I, honestly, I, I rate it, bro. I rate it. I'm gonna issue a neighborly apology I thought I would never, ever have to issue. Today, while playing in the driveway, Timmy disappeared behind our garden, which has a direct view of the front of your house. All of a sudden, I heard him yell, But I have no toilet paper! That's right, my toddler son took a dump outside behind my garden. If your children or Steve looked out the window and saw this, I deeply apologize. If not, super. I hope I at least made you laugh. I cannot imagine how hard it is for parents to have kids right now in, in, in quarantine, dude. It's like, they gotta be stressed right now to no end. It's gotta be insane. When I was seven, while driving interstate with my family, I announced a patrol station full of people, Mom, look, they have pigs here too, pointing to a very unimpressed officer of the law. <laughs> Naturally, my mother was incredibly apologetic and embarrassed. That was the day I learned that pig is not an official term for a police officer. <laughs> I just imagine you're getting arrested. It's like, sir, you're under arrest. He's like, no, please don't arrest me, pig. And the, kids, the dude's like, huh? Okay, now I'm adding an extra charge to your, to, to your thing. When I was in first grade, I had my first sleepover with my best friend. She wouldn't stop talking, so I said, did you know that if you tap my shoulder twice, I fall asleep and you can't wake me up till morning? My friend goes, nah-uh, then proceeded to tap my shoulder twice. I pretended to fall asleep, then ignored her talking until she stopped. This went on to like third grade. <laughs> That's low-key smart, but at the same time, it's like, bro, they just want to talk, man. I mean, unless it's like, four in the morning. Can't be that bad. Just talk to your friend. That's why you're there in the first place. When your son asks for a popsicle, so you grab him an orange one. He's upset he didn't get to choose the color, so he goes and picks out an orange one. Dude, young me, I'm just saying that right now, young me would have totally done that. <laughs> That is exactly something that I would do. Oh my god. My daughter just punched me so hard in the balls <laughs> and won't apologize. She just said, well, I don't know, and walked off. Quarantine is going awesome. Dude, I I can't say, I know I already said this, but man, I feel so bad for these parents right now. Parents, if you're watching this video, if you have a kid, if you have a little one at home, stay strong. I'm rooting for you guys. I really am. One summer break when I was a kid, both toilets in our house broke at the same time. My mom went out for a couple hours and told me not to flush the toilets. I needed to pee, but a toilet full of pee would be gross and I wasn't allowed outside if mom wasn't home. Then I had a brilliant idea. I peed into an air vent on the floor. I thought it was gone. The house smelled like my pee for days. Dude, why would you pee into an air vent? The whole point of that thing is that it circulates around the whole house. Obviously, if you pee into it, it's gonna smell like pee, dude. I mean, like, I know the whole summer is called Kids Are Stupid, but, like, even a kid should know that. It, the whole reason the air vent is there is to circulate air. And you're gonna pee into it? Okay, okay, dude. I was a stupid kid. When I first thought we were getting Chinese food, I asked my dad, do we have to go to China? And he jokingly replied, yep. So I cried for 20 minutes because I didn't want to move. Please, Dad, I don't want to go to China just for some food. Can we just get, like, McDonald's or Wendy's or something? Why do we have to move to China? That's so overkill. Come on, Dad. He's like, nope. Sorry, son. I've already packed your bags. The, the U-Haul will be here tomorrow morning. Went through my son iPad this morning. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Paw Patrol. Barney. How to fight my dad. <laughs> How to hump. <laughs> Learn numbers. Ryan just who's Ryan are we just gonna we're just gonna ignore the other couple uh questionable searches that his son is having right now we're just gonna you know push us off to the side and pretend they don't exist my five-year-old son decided to poop in the backyard like our dog this is what social distancing with an only child looks like right now I usually let him play out back for a few minutes at a time since our backyard is fenced but I check on him often during a few minute stretch he decided to pull down his pants and poop in the backyard like our dog he ran inside to proudly tell me what he had done I immediately told him how inappropriate that was and to show me where so I could clean up the mess. By the time we got to where he had pooped, our dog had already eaten it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Dude, I usually read these posts ahead a little bit just to see if, like, you know, they're safe for YouTube. I did not read that, and I'm... It just kind of made it funnier. I just... That was the least... That was the last thing I expected to read. The kid poops in the yard. Okay, you know, it's that subreddit. But then the dog eats it. 
Holy moly. So the boys have invented a new game called Last to be Found. I ask them how to play and they tell me someone counts to 100 while everyone else tries to hide. Then the counter has to find everyone. Okay, cool, I say. Sounds like hide and seek. No, dad. Hide and seek is boring. Last to be found is so much fun because the winner is the last person to be found. True. Uh, and hide and seek is definitely not that. It's uh, just, you know, way worse. Last to be found is more fun. I, I want to play Last to be Found. I'm gonna hit up the boys and see if they want to play Last to be Found in the in in the in the scuffed house. Bought ourselves some peace and quiet for three dollars. Last one standing with a dollar still on the wall wins the money. Come on, guys, are you really <laughs> are y'all really down that bad that you're doing this for three bucks? Siri, you can. What are you gonna buy with that? A couple gumballs? Like, yeah, what are you gonna do with three dollars? Know your worth. Come on. Like, this is a perfect example of, of when someone needs to know their worth. Anyway, boys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys wanna check out my podcast you can do so the link is in the description you can also follow any of my social medias which are all at dom so epic you can join my discord server if you want i talk there a lot at least once a day so if you want to talk to me that's your best place to do so thank you to these people for becoming patrons of the channel it means a lot to me and i can't do it without you guys and with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one make sure to drop a like and subscribe and bye bye peace peace welcome back to another episode of the scuffed cast